Pearl, the most amazing thing about Doctor Who since when I was a child... It was a long time ago. It's a long time ago, <laughs> I'm telling you, is the look. It just looks like a movie now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, the production values are so high. It's amazing, like, even on set, you know, walking around, you see these incredible sets, but, the, yeah, the TARDIS stays. And it's huge. It's probably maybe about as big as this room. Yeah. Maybe a bit yeah. smaller, maybe a little bit yeah. smaller. But, Good. yeah, some of the sets have been absolutely huge. Um... The attention is huge as well. It is. What yeah. has that whole experience like for you being immersed into that world of Doctor Who? Um, well, it's, it's kind of mad, really, because we film it up in Cardiff, so we're sort of, you know, we're there, and we're, you know, it's it's such long hours that we're kind of there, and we go home, we learn our lines, and you know, we get in a up bubble, and we go to, really. Yeah, you're kind of in a bubble, but you know, we had some fans come and visit us on set, um, which was sort of the first experience that I had of of any fans, really. Mm. But that was before mm. the the series was even out, but. Um, I was um, I, w I went away recently. I was I was in um, Los Angeles and I was just like wandering around, trying to get a cup of coffee, being like I don't really know what I'm doing here. And um, someone like a car was going past, and someone like yelled Pearl mm. out of the car, and I was like, I don't, Oh, I, no, I, I don't actually <laughs> even know you. You just recognise me. No, no, it's very important. Was that Pearl? Pearl. Or was it, or was, yeah. it was it an American Pearl? Pearl. It was an American <laughs> Pearl. Was, yeah, yeah, that's for okay. Sure. Well, that's good. Which is very different. Very I've I've learned when trying to communicate my name to people yeah. in America. They don't understand. It's a beautiful when I name. Pearl. You see, Pearl Thank works you. very very hard. I just want to point this out. She works so hard. She's come in here today in her pajamas. <laughs> She's, and then the most beautiful silky. Aren't they? They're beautiful. <laughs> they pajamas. are very nice to sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> very, yeah very, very, nice. very silky. They're very very, <laughs> very good. Great. Very good. Um, what? When you got that call, I mean, how did that happen? Did, had you said to your agent, I really would love to be in Doctor Who, or well, was yeah, it out well, of the blue? It's sort of a secret. Like, the, the casting, um, th they don't put out the fact that they're looking for the Doctor's new companion, because right. I think, you know, every agent would be like, yeah. Every, everyone, go up for yeah. it. Um, so I, it was advertised as um, Mean Town, which is an anagram of Woman 10, which is the 10th companion. Yeah. Um, so when I first got the call to sort of, you know, get an availability check, I didn't even know it was it was Doctor Who that I was going to be going up for. But then I um, had, had one sort of first round with the casting director and then had a second round with um, where I met Stephen Moffat and uh, Brian Minchin, another, uh, the exec producer, Andy Pryor, the casting director, uh, his assistant was filming and I was reading with Peter, like, in the Soho Hotel. And I was like, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> I, like, you know, sort of walked in with, like, bright yellow trainers and massive afro and a baggy t-shirt and was like... Did the trick? This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it worked. I yeah. don't know. But... but Pearl, that's the good news. The bad news is then Peter Capaldi says, um, I'm off. Yeah. Right? I've, done, I've done my stint oh. here. Would you like to go off with him or would you like to remain? Or is that not up to you? I don't know. Um, well, it's not up to me. I don't think, um, but I'm, I, I feel like Peter's such a wonderful doctor. And, and did they character. tell you, Paul, straight away, you know, we're, we're, this is going to be a gay character, because this is the first time there's been a gay companion for Doctor Yeah. Who. And were you comfortable with that? And Yeah, oh, I was completely comfortable mm. with it, yeah. Um, I think the way it's handled in the show as well is... Um, you know, it's quite subtle. It's not sort of, you know, like there's a big reveal, like mm. she has to come out to the doctor because it's something that she's she's grappling with. You know, Bill's very comfortable with her sexuality. She mentions it quite mm. quite early on. Um, but then, you know, it's not something that she wears on her sleeve. It's not something that she yeah. feels like she needs to announce all the time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think that representation is definitely important. And what yeah. we'll announce this weekend is what is in the box. Oh, yes, isn't what's it, in the vault. What's in the vault. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was a bit like deal or no deal, isn't it? You know, <laughs> open it, take the money, open the box. It could be Doctor Who's granddaughter. We'll, we'll it, find out. It could be. I mean, yeah, it's, it's very exciting. On Saturday night. 725 BBC One on Saturday night. It's really lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. I hope they keep you on. I oh, do hope much. they keep you on. Enjoy you having, all yeah. your time travels. I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she wears her pyjamas. Yeah, I know. Just I'm ready for anything.